This short video will show you how to get started with Informatica Cloud and to immediately begin integrating data across your cloud and on-premise applications. Before you build and run your first data integration task, you'll need to install the Informatica Cloud Secure Agent and set up connections. The Secure Agent is the engine that moves data between sources and targets. It is a lightweight, self-upgrading application that runs behind your firewall. Because it runs within your network, the agent provides secure access to local data sources. Also, because the agent runs the integration job locally, your data is never uploaded to or staged on the Informatica Cloud servers. The Secure Agent can be installed on a Windows or Linux machine. We recommend installing the Secure Agent on a machine that will always be up and running. To install the agent, log into Informatica Cloud from the Destination Machine. From the Configuration menu, select Secure Agents. Click the Download Agent button. Select the appropriate platform and click the Download button. When the download is complete, install the agent by running the .exe file. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the installation. At the end of the installation process, you will be prompted to register the secure agent. To do this, enter your Informatica Cloud username and password. Once the installation is complete, you will see the agent listed on the agent's page. If the agent is not listed or if the agent's status shows as inactive, there is likely a communication problem between the agent and the Informatica Cloud servers. For agent troubleshooting tips, view the online help or visit the Informatica Cloud community site. Once you have a secure agent up and running, you can create a connection. A connection holds the information required to connect to a specific endpoint. To create a connection, select Connections from the Configuration menu. Click the New button. Enter a name and description for the connection. Select the type of endpoint you wish to create a connection for from the Type menu. For example, if you plan to move data into or out of Salesforce, select Salesforce. The properties will depend on which connection type you select. For a database, the connection would include the username, password, host, port, database or service name, and schema. For a flat file, a connection would include the path to the directory where the file is stored. For a Salesforce connection, you must provide the Salesforce username and password as well as the security token. Your security token can be obtained by logging into Salesforce and navigating to the Setup My Personal Information area. Unless you will be accessing a sandbox, you do not need to change the service URL. Click the Test button to verify that the connection is valid. Click OK to save the connection. Your connection is now ready to use. The next step is to create a task. A task defines the specifics of how data will be moved. For creating tasks, Informatica Cloud provides a number of applications. The data synchronization application allows you to synchronize data between two endpoints. The contact validation application allows you to validate postal addresses, email addresses, and phone numbers. The data assessment application allows you to measure and monitor the quality of your Salesforce data. The data replication application allows you to automate the replication of data for backup, compliance, or offline reporting purposes. To create a task, select an application from the Applications menu. Click the New button. For all applications, Informatica Cloud provides an easy-to-follow, step-by-step wizard for creating a task. On the Definition page, enter a name and description for the task. Then select the task operation or what you want the task to do, such as Insert, Update, Upsert, or Delete records. Next, select the source for the task. This is where the data will be moved or synchronized from. You must first select the connection, in this case, a SQL Server database. Then select the object, in this case, a table called Account. You'll notice that Informatica Cloud displays a preview of the data. Next, select the target for the task. This is where the data will be moved or synchronized to. Just as with the source, select the connection, in this case, a Salesforce org.
Then select the object, in this case the account object. Again, you will see a preview of the data. The Data Filters page lets you limit the data that is processed from the source. Filters can be used to process only a subset of data based on specific criteria, for example, for incremental processing so that only new and change records are synchronized. If you don't define a filter, all data in the source will be synchronized. The Field Mapping page lets you map source fields to target fields. Informatica Cloud automatically matches fields with similar names. Map fields are indicated by a green check mark. To map a field, simply drag and drop the field from the source to the corresponding field in the target. Once the mapping is complete, you can check for errors by clicking the Validate Mapping button. The last page of the wizard lets you schedule the task and configure email notifications. Once configuration is complete, click Save and Run to run the job based on the task. While the job runs, you will see the Activity Monitor screen. This screen shows you information about jobs currently running in the org. When the job completes, you will see the Activity Log screen. This page includes a log of all jobs that have run in the org, with the most recent activity on top. You can review the results of your job by checking the Status column. You can also review the total number of rows processed in the Success Rows column. If the job completed but some rows returned errors, you will see a number in the Error Rows column and a link to open the Error Rows file where you can review error messages for each row. If the job failed to run, you can review the reason in the Error Message column. If you need additional help with Informatica Cloud, there are a number of options you can access via the right sidebar. The first button opens the online help where you can access the online help and additional product documentation, including the latest release notes. The second button opens a form for submitting a support request directly to Informatica Global Support. The third button takes you to the Informatica Cloud Community site where you can search for information or post a question for the community. The last button takes you to the Informatica Cloud video site where you can access recorded webinars, product demonstrations, and on-demand training. We hope this video has prepared you to begin building your data integrations with Informatica Cloud.